Hello, welcome to the video Spring Boot Fire Upload with me, Nam Amin from CodeJava.net. Through this video, you will learn how to update an existing Spring Boot project to implement the Fire Upload function. For uploading images, you will learn how to code upload a single file and uh, upload multiple files, and then how to display the uploaded images. Suppose that we have an existing Spring Boot uh, using the following technologies. Spring Data JPI and Hibernate for the data access layer, TimeLift and jQuery uh, for the view layer, MySQL JDBC driver to connect to database. And I'm using the following software programs Java European Kit JDK, Spring Tool Suite IDE SDS, and MySQL Database Server and MySQL Workbench. This is uh, Spring Tool Suite IDE, and you see I open the Spring Boot uh, project. So let me add backend. And in the Maven dependencies, you can see this project is using uh, Spring Boot Security, Spring Boot uh, Time Leaf, Spring Boot uh, Web, Spring Boot uh, Data JPI, and uh, Spring Boot Developer Tools, and MySQL. And create the Java MySQL JDBC driver. Now, uh, let me run this Spring Boot uh, application. Start and in the uh, Spring Boot application configuration file, you can see this application is listening on port 8080 with the context path is slash soft me admin. Okay, now switch to Chrome browser and head to HTTP localhost port 8080 and context path submit admin and here we go uh, the submit admin control panel uh, and we are going to implement the fire uh, function uh, to allow the user to uh, upload a logo image uh, for a brand here you can see logo for the brand create new brand you can see and the user uh, can uh, upload an image uh, for the brand logo and then display the a logo images for all the brand brands in the list of brands here and we also uh, uh, implement file upload uh, multiple uh, file upload uh, for the product here mm. create a new product and each product uh, we contain main image and some uh, Three uh, HR images, HR image one, HR image two, and HR image uh, three. And then we need to display the main images of the products in the products list here. So uh, that's what uh, we need to uh, code to update this existing Spring Boot application. Uh, uploading uh, images. This picture helps you understand how to code the fire upload function for a Spring Boot and project in the view layer in the HTML form. Uh, we need to use the HTML tag input type equal file to allow the user to choose a file to be uploaded to the server. And uh, when the form is uh, submitted, the handler method in the controller class. Uh, we uh, uh, read uh, the file uploaded uh, using this annotation uh, request uh, param and uh, multipath file this is provided by spring and then we store the file uh, into the file system on the server and store the file name to the entity class the entity class um, we have a few that store the file name for example for brand we have the 
column name uh, logo in the table here yeah? and then we save uh, the entity to the database and here is a step uh, we will follow first we need to update the database table adding column to store your file name and uh, update the entity class and update the uh, HTML form to display a file input that allows the user to pick up file to upload and then we need to update the handler method to store the file to disk and uh, we need to configure Spring MVC adding a resource handler to expose uh, the uploaded files to display the images in the HTML page and now uh, let me show you how to implement the file upload function to uh, upload a single file the first step is uh, update the database table adding a column to store the file name uh, this is my SQL workbench and this is a database uh, for our Spring Boot application and you can see the table brands here columns ID name and we need to alter this table to add a new column that starts the file name alter table yeah we add a new column here and the name of the column is logo Vacha 45 and click apply apply finish and select rows from this table and you can see uh, we have the column logo here and the values are uh, no by default and then we need to uh, update the uh, corresponding uh, entity class for the new column and in this project we have the entity class brand here and then we declare a new field for a mapping uh, with the local column in the database table column private string logo length is 45 and no label is true and generate uh, letter and setter methods for that field here source generate uh, letters and setters and choose uh, the newly added field local uh, generate you see and I think it's better to stop our Spring Boot application because we are going to write a lot of code stop and next we need to update the HTML form to display the file input and that allows the user to pick up a file to uh, upload mm. I think I need to start the application again and uh, let's open the template, uh, template uh, for the brand new form here and you can see this is a template uh, view template uh, for the brand create new form you can see the section uh, for brand uh, logo here brand create new brand you can see this is a create new brand form and the user can choose a file and to be uploaded for the brand logo here and now um, let's use some HTML code to uh, display the file input brand logo and we use the uh, input time equal file and 
and name is um, file image ID is file image now let's test in the Chrome browser you can see we have the button choose file here click and we can pick uh, an image a file to be uh, uploaded there's a brand images here now by default we can choose any file uh, and we can restrict the type of the files uh, to be uploaded uh, for all the images by specifying the um, attribute uh, accept and uh, accept only image slash png image slash uh, jpeg and we will display the preview of the image here after right after the uh, file input image use image tag id equal thumbnail and on internet text is logo preview save and refresh and you can see and when the user clicks the choose file button to uh, select uh, an image file and then uh, the image uh, will be displayed in a low preview here we will be using uh, the query javascript to display the preview of the image before uploading mm. as, as you can see i'm using time leaf uh, so uh, uh, we need to uh, include uh, the query here you see for the query and now in the brand form in the document uh, ready function here we uh, handle uh, the change uh, event uh, for the input type equal file here the ID is file image here and here we select that uh, file input file image and for the change uh, function new function and we show the image uh, thumbnail Passing this argument is a file input itself. And then we code this method. Um, and right after this function, so thumbnail image argument is the file input to display the image thumbnail before uploading. I equal I input dot files and the first element in the files is a file chosen by the user and then we create a new reader with the equal new file reader and reader on load equal function e And we select the uh, image 
the image to display the thumbnail with the ID thumbnail here. And we update the attribute SRC source for the image uh, to be the target dot uh, result and with the uh, with as data URL file. So this is a code to display the image uh, thumbnail before uploading. And whenever the user clicks the file input to change the image, the show image thumbnail method is invoked. Save and now let's test the uh, image thumbnail. And refresh. Choose the file. I have some uh, images for the brand logo here. For example, I choose the uh, Samsung. And you can see the, the image thumbnail of the file red display here, Samsung. And choose another file, for example, Sony. And you can see Sony and LG, you see. So far, so good, right? And next, uh, we need to update the handler method in Spring MVC controller to store the file uh, on disk and follow this uh, picture we have created the updated the STL form updated the entity class and now let's update the uh, handler method using this annotation to read the uh, multipath file to store the file on disk on the server and then store the file name to the entity class and save the uh, entity. And because we are going to upload a file in the new form, so in the form tag we need to declare uh, an attribute uh, for multipath and tag equal. Uh, Multipath slash from dash data. And uh, let's open the controller class for the brand here. Brand controller. And jump to the method that saves a brand here. This method handles uh, the form submission of the brand new form. You can see there's an um, annotation uh, model uh, attribute map a brand object to the fields in the brand form here with time lift uh, tag gh object brand here. And to handle the file upload. In this form, we need to um, use this you know, request uh, param annotation. And with the name, is the name of the um, input type file here, file image. So copy and paste here. And we use a uh, Multipath, multipath file interface provided by Spring Framework to handle a multi multipath file upload. Multipath file. And first, we need to get the original file name from the uploaded file stream. I name equal uh, I use a string utt class from spring framework dot ut package here with the method clean path to clean the unnecessary 
information in the file path to get only the file name multi path file dot get original file name. And then we set the file name to the corresponding field of the model object brand here. Brand set uh, local file name. And uh, we proceed the brand object first. And so we can get the ID of the newly created brand. And because I want to store the image files by brand ID. So assign the return value of this method brand except brand equal service step and then we can get the ID. So I construct the upload directory here upload directory uh, which is a directory uh, related to the application and directory slash uh, brand dash uh, logos and uh, following by the uh, ID of the newly created uh, brand get ID and create a path object path from Java NIO package and upload path equal path get yeah, upload here And I check if this directory path uh, doesn't exist, uh, it will be created. Mm, if files exist, but about but if not exist, we create uh, the directory files not create directories uh, about but. Mm, the files utility class uh, comes from the Java NIO package. And then we read uh, the input stream uh, from the multi multiply part to store the file on disk. Input stream. Input stream equal multi part file get input stream. And we uh, construct the file part. Part file part equal upload part dot result. Uh, my name and then we use the uh, utility method uh, copy from the files class copy uh, from the input stream with the option standard uh, copy option is uh, replace existing file and it's better to wrap this code into a chi cat chi cat structure chi chi with resource Catch IO exception and we throw a new IO exception here. Throw new uh, IO exception could not save 
uh, upload the file following the file name file name uh, for the copy method we need to have the input stream and the um, file path and then the copy option okay and we also need to declare the IO exception in the handler method here now let's test the file upload uh, for the brand uh, logo brands create new brand uh, brand name is um, let's see we have Samsung now new brand name is Sony and we choose a uh, brand logo is uh, image for Sony Sony here and choose categories electronics safe you see we have the message the brand has been saved successfully and now let's check the um, upload directory to see if the uh, file has been saved or not um, properties um, open the project directory show me back end mm -hmm. we don't see any directory here let's see if we have any error Uh, let's check the database here yeah. now let's uh, refresh the brand table and you can see a new row uh, what inserted Sony and the uh, uh, file name for the logo is Sony not PNG here yeah. uh, which means uh, the data access layer was working very good and let's check Uh, we don't see any images in directory not created mm -hmm. uh, let's disable the printing of my SQL statement to see if we got any error disable cell SQL and format SQL and it's better to stop and restart our Spring Boot application. Stop. In the brand form, we have the prior image here. In the controller class handler method, request param my image here. Okay, okay, now let's start this application. If successful, uh, we should see a, a directory brand dash uh, logo here. Okay, our application is up and running now. Let's test create another brand. And this time we create a brand LG. Choose uh, a misfire LG and select category uh, mobile phones and click saved LG nice good. Except and I see in the console view we don't see any error. 
and let's see in the mosaic directory so me back can Uh, let's update the code to bring the uh, absolute directory of the path here. System what our dot print line by path to string. Okay, save the change and test again. Maybe uh. I'm um, uh, wrong, something somewhere. Okay, let's create a new brand and this time we choose the brand Dell. Brand name is Dell. Mm. So the category is mm, computer and accessories. Save. And we got the directory absolute file name not created here. Mm -hmm. We need to get the uh, absolute part to file get absolute part. Mm-hmm. Save the change. Now test again. Create another brand. And this time we choose a brand Casio. My name is Casio. Category is um for example, consumer electronics. Okay, click save. Oh, I see. Each star as a file in this directory. D in the D driver brand logo. So this. A part is uh, related to the current driver. Now let's check that directory the driver and we see we see the directory brand uh, logos here. You can see the ID of the created uh, brands here. You can see the image uh, file store here. That means the file upload function uh, was working uh, properly, and uh, we just uh, need to uh, adjust the upload part. You can see. And let's update the code. Uh, I think we need to use this dot uh, before the path to indicate it is relative to the current uh, directory. Save the change and test again. Create another brand. And this time we create the brand uh, Philips. Lips side category is you know, consumer electronics theft and you can see in the console view you can see the 
uh, absolute part to the file here, which we relative to the project directory brand uh, dust robots here. And let's check directory in the project properties. This is project directory, and you see we have the directory brand dust logos here, i.e., of the newly created brand and the image file store here. And let's check the database. You see, we got some uh, brands created here with the um, logo file name here, store in the database, and the ID 20. One for the brand Philips here, ID 21 here. So far, so good, right? So we need to use this uh, dot uh, period to indicate the path uh, relative uh, to the um, application directory. And the last step uh, to Configure Spring MVC, adding resource handler to expose the output files uh, to display the images in the HTML page. Uh, that means to display the logo image uh, in the list of brand here. You see. Uh, so we need to configure Spring MVC. We have the MVC configuration class here open it and you need to override another method a source override implement method and choose a method in add resource handlers here okay to expose the, the file directory to the client so we Create a new path, path, in a brand, upload, dear, equal, path, red, dot slash, in a brand, dust, in the words, and we import path from java dot nio dot file. And we rest the rest at a resource handler. Gene brand upload part. We need to add the absolute part brand upload here. Add to file to file. Add uh, absolute part. And then we have G, a resort handler to expose this directory slash uh, brand dust and you was um, all the files and as the resource location is file slash plus uh, your brand upload part. That's it. This is to uh, expose the this absolute part brand upload part uh, as relative to the context part brand dash uh, logos. Okay, save the change and in the entity class uh, brand we implement a method to return the image uh, part for the logo. This method is uh, annotated as transient public string red image rest logo image part and we check uh, if in, uh, the logo is no or the ID is no, we return no if 
ลโลโลอีกวนโลโอไอดีอีสโนเมื่อวีรีเทิร์นโนอัลเซวายส์วีรีเทิร์นเดอะพัททูเดอะอิมิสไฟล์วิชีสลัสแบรนด์ลัสโลโวส์สลัสแล้วก็ต่อไปด้วยชื่อไอดีของแบรนด์แล้วก็ต่อไปด้วยชื่อของแบรนด์คือราคาของโลโก้แล้วก็เพราะคุณสามารถเห็นว่าเรามีแบรนด์แบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์ที่เป็นโลโก้ของแบรนด์แบรนด์ลิสต์เฮียแบรนด์เฮียจีเอสทีเมลไฟล์ของลิสต์ของแบรนด์เฮียเรามีคอลัมน์โลโก้เฮียโลโก้เฮียและนี่คืออีกส่วนหนึ่งที่จะแสดงโลโก้อิมเมจและเราใช้อิมเมจแดกและนี่คืออีกส่วนหนึ่งที่จะแสดงโลโก้อิมเมจ We start uh, with the uh, time lift syntax DHSRC and uh, we specify the uh, value of the brand object. The brand object in the list the brand here, list brands. And we use the uh, um, property uh, logo image part here. So we specify brand dot logo image part. That's it. Save and now let's refresh this list brand to see. You see the uh, logo image for the brand Philips appears, and for other brands, we need to move uh, the images from the. Victory. Let's see. Brand logos here in the directory. Copy or or move. Cut to the project directory. Show me project. Show me back end. Well, brand logos here. In paste here. Okay, and let's refresh. And you see all the logo images appear. So far, so good, right? And let's update this image tag to specify a fixed width for the image style. The width is about one hundred pixel. And refresh, and you see. It looks uh, better, right? All the images, uh, the logos of the brands appear after uploading. Let's create a new brand. The brand name is Triumph. Choose an image file, logo or Triumph here. And the category is clothing here. Save. And you see uh, the newly created uh, brand Champ appear here with the logo image here. Awesome, right? Let's check the database here in the brands table here. You can see Triumph Philips uh, the file name. And let's check the directory. And we have the directory uh, 22 for the uh, brand champ here. Yeah.